Hey, what's up guys? This is an old laptop of mine and I want to clone the OS of this one to another SSD because the existing SSD of this is um, 250 gigabytes, okay? And I got a uh, secondhand SSD from an old laptop that was broken. So I want to upgrade this one and I don't want to reinstall a lot of software. So what I'm going to do is clone this existing operating system put it inside this one and then uh, replace the SSD uh, of this laptop. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you to you today. So first up guys, um, you need to have something like an adapter, uh, USB to SSD. So I have this Orico for uh, quite uh, a long time and I've been using it for some time already. So what this is going to do is, uh, it's going to be able to convert this um, SSD into a USB pluggable into your laptop so that we can clone, all right? So I'm just going to put this one here and um, kinda uh, close this one and then so that it's not going to pop out, we use this one to cover it. So there you go. Then of course, um, we can use the cable to plug it in the laptop. So we're going to plug it somewhere in the USB ports of this one here. Okay, so be, we should be able to check this one out like this. Uh, let's go and check this one. Uh, this, this PC. As you can see here, guys, this is 930 gigabytes and this is 237. Uh, as I told you earlier, uh, this is a used SSD, the one that we plugged, and I wanna use this one as the main drive. So what I'm going to do, uh, uh, we need a cloning software and we are going to use the software of ESAS. Now, what happens is you need to save all the data that is saved here because it's going to wipe out everything. So I'm going to close this one. Then I'll go ahead and download ESAS. Okay, so this video is sponsored by EaseUs. So we are going to use their software and I can show you how you can do the disk cloning. So as you can see this uh, beautiful animation here from this um, hard drive going to the SSD, which is very cool. And that's exactly what's going to do. Now, as you can see here, you have a buy now option, which says 30 day money back guarantee. At the same time, it has a free trial for Windows 11, 10, 8, and 7. So if you try to scroll down their website, you can see that a pro version is 19.90 and it has a free trial. Um, and then it also has a technician, which is $89. And you can compare them right away here, whatever you can do with it. Okay, so just go ahead and uh, download a free trial for this one. All right, it's going to go here on the upper right corner. Um, I'm downloading here. So uh, there you go. I'm going to open this. I'm going to install this software. So I'll just go ahead and um, paste my license. So once you have pasted your license, it's going to open up. Uh, you're going to activate that and then wait for this one to open up. Okay, so here we go, guys. You can see two drives already here. The other one is selected and you have the C uh, drive. Let's compare that one with uh, the one that's connected to my PC. You can see it here local disk C that is 237 gigabytes. The other one is 930, approximately one terabyte. So the target is, I mean the source is this one. You can see the marking local disk C. Close this one, it perfectly match this um, drive. So we can set this one as the source. The source means what do we want to clone? Okay, once I selected that and press next, it's time to select the target where we are going to place the clone. So of course that is our one terabyte and then it is already selected. We can go for next and then make sure that you have backup everything. As I have said, it will all be deleted. So I'm sure for me, I'm just going to go press proceed and then it's going to warn you that it's going to delete everything on the target disk. So I'll just go continue then it's going to give us 
a um, notification or the steps it's taking to clone this one. So if you want to wait up for this one, um, since I'm doing this as a voiceover, it took, um, I think, more than an hour to clone everything. Yeah. So we can do ahead and fast forward this one or cut some of the footage so that we can make it short. If you are watching this video, you can go ahead and pause it if you want. Well, of course, as you can see on the time there, it's already one hour. So um, after an hour of waiting, we have this notification saying that everything is done. Now, if, if you want to uh, try this one, we need to remove the original SSD from the laptop and replace the new one so that we can test it. So that's what we're going to do. To show you the full verification of this one, I need to jump off the screen recording, use the camera footage so that we can finish this one up. As you can see, let's just wait and take every moment. Okay, we're done. We close this, yes. And it's time to shut this down. Okay, unplug this USB adapter open it up of course we need to remove this there you go that is our one terabyte so we close this one we unplug the power and we have to open this laptop and replace it with a new one okay so let's do this one quickly because we need to open up the whole cover Okay, we have the SSD here, so we are going to remove this one as well. Bye bye, 250 gigabytes of space, replacing you with the newly cloned, right? Put back the cover for now. We're just going to cover, no need to screw. We want to make sure that everything is working well. So. Later on, after all the tests, then we can go ahead and tighten up the screws. Okay, that's good for now. Go ahead and check this one. Plug the power. Open it up. Turn it on. Still waiting. Lights up. All right. Dell. How is it? Okay, it's loading up perfectly. That means that the operating system is well and good. Ta-da! Let's try my password, come on. Oops, gotta be sure, gotta be sure. All right, we're coming in. Let's do it. It's taking time. Relax. Whoa, we're good. The only thing we got to do is check if this is really one terabyte. So go to this PC and then bam, that is nearly one terabyte of space. Well, there you go, guys. That is 100% working. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.